G'day, I'm Stephen Page from Page Probe and Family and Fertility Lawyers, and I'm talking about, well, should you do surrogacy in Australia um, or do it in Canada? The starting point is, if you live in Australia and you're lucky enough to find a surrogate, do it here. Uh, it'll be cheaper uh, than anywhere else in the world, uh, and you'll be able to get on with it um, in your local, uh, relatively local, and uh, maybe down the road, maybe in the next state, IVF clinic, uh, with a surrogate who is living uh, domestically, who speaks the same language uh, and culturally um, is the same as you. If you have the opportunity to do it in Australia, just do so. I'm lucky to be a dad uh, through surrogacy in Brisbane um, with my husband and egg donation in Brisbane. I, I just can't speak highly enough of being able to do surrogacy likely. It's just cheaper and, and easier and very clear about who's a parent. But most people can't. And the latest numbers are that for every child born through surrogacy in Australia, three are born overseas. So one of the key destinations that Australians have gone to for about the last uh, dozen years or so has been Canada. And Canada's a really good destination for surrogacy. I've done other videos about surrogacy in Canada, but let's just talk about why it's good. The cost. The cost is about, uh, in early, 2024, um, about 140,000 Australian from beginning to end. So pretty good, certainly a lot, about half the cost of the US. You have a Medicare system, uh, which brings down the cost. You have altruistic surrogacy like you do here. Although we've got to be careful uh, that in terms of Australian laws, we don't breach local laws concerning uh, commercial surrogacy. And so the, they are of concern uh, in all of uh, Queensland, New South Wales, ACT, South Australia, Northern Territory and Western Australia, and those concerning commercial egg donation, because even though it's altruistic in Canada, we still have to be careful that we don't breach local laws uh, in all of those places other than Victoria um, or Tasmania. The one problem that's, that exists with Canada at the moment is matching times. It takes about two years to match. And that's because of the pressure that's come about because of COVID uh, and the invasion of Ukraine. So antenna parents, uh, there's a bottleneck uh, and that bottleneck will be continuing for the moment. But I think Canada is a great location uh, and surrogacy has done very well there. Typically you will have a post birth order in Canada it will be a lot quicker than you have in Australia. Australia is one to six months before you can apply to the court, and then you get on about another month after that. Canada, it's between two days, um, two or three days after the birth, and that's in Alberta, um, to um, at, at most four weeks after the birth that you see in places like um, New Brunswick. So Canada, I think, is a great location, a really good location. It's just, you have to be patient. Thank you.